guys my name is Ankush Gaurav and I welcome you to Contu series this tutorial is in continuation with the earlier one where we learned all about form validation fundamentals with the help of size annotation in detail now let's talk about few more important validation annotations like pattern min max past future etc etc which are supported by Spring MVC framework in detail in this demo. So let's start. Guys, let's say in this uh, demo, you have a very special and a unique requirement. What you want is whatever value user would provide here in the student name field, that value should not contain any digit in it. And if user violates this constraint, you know, by providing here some value in the student name field which would contain a digit in it you know something like this and submit the form then in that case my application should return back the same admission form along with the complete description of the error message to the user as a response so question is how you would do it by Spring MVC says, hey developers, you can easily achieve such a requirement in your application by including something called as pattern annotation on top of student name field, like this. So with this annotation on top of student name field, I'm simply instructing Spring MVC framework, hey Spring MVC framework, whenever you are performing data binding task for student name field and if the value which you are binding with this field is containing any digit in it then in that case you simply consider it as a data binding related error and put that error into this binding result reference guys i'll do one thing I'll quickly show you this thing working on the browser and subsequently I would explain more on the changes which I've just made in this class. So now after this change in the student class, if I provide here a value in the student name field which is containing a digit in it and submit the form, let's see what happens. Cool, the application returned back the same admission form with this error message. It's saying must match this pattern which we gave over here so the idea is very clear whatever pattern we would provide here in the pattern annotations argument that pattern spring MSC would use to perform the validation task for student name property guys in your spring MSC application you may use this or some other pattern some suitable pattern based on your project requirements all right let's proceed further because let's say in this demo you have another special requirement what you want is whatever value user would provide here in the date of birth field that value should not fall in future and if the user violates this constraint by providing here some value in the student date of birth field you know some value which would fall in future so today is 24th of october and if user is providing here some value say 25th of october 2014 and summit the form in that case my application should return back the same admission form along with the complete description of the error message so question is how would do it spring mc says hey developers you can easily do it with the help of an annotation called as past you simply put past annotation on top of student date of birth and you are done with this annotation on top of student date of birth property i'm simply instructing spring mc framework hey spring mc framework whenever you are performing data binding task for student date of birth property and if the value which you are binding with it is falling in future that time you simply treat it as a binding error let me show you this working on the browser so after providing here some value 
you know in the student date of birth which is falling in future when I would submit the form let's see what happens cool the application returned back the same admission form with this error message it's saying must be in the past so the idea is very clear the user is going to provide here some value in the student date of birth field which would fall in future and some of the form the application is going to consider that as a binding error and that's all because of this past annotation which we have placed on top of student date of birth field and if you would provide here some value which would not fall in future set this value and submit the form the application would not treat that as a binding error all right now let's proceed further guys in this demo application there is no restriction on the number value which user would provide here in the student mobile field if you provide 12 and submit the form there won't be any problem if you provide say 123 and submit the form there won't be any problem now what if my requirement here is something like this whatever value user would provide here in the student mobile field that value should always be less than or equal to 2222 value and if the user is going to violate this constraint by providing here some value you know a value say 2224 which is more than 2222 and some of the form that time my application should return back the same admission form with the complete description of the error message for it so question is how we would do it and the answer is with the help of max annotation you simply put max annotation with this value on top of student mobile field and you are done with this annotation on top of student mobile field I'm simply instructing Spring MVC framework. Hey Spring MVC framework, whenever you are performing data binding task for student mobile field, and if the value which you're binding with it is more than this value, then you treat that as a binding error. Guys, let me show you this thing working on the browser after this change. So now if I provide here a value 2224, which is a more than this value then let's see what happens after I submit the form cool the application returned back the same admission form with this error message it's saying must be less than or equal to this value which we provided here guys in this demo I showed you some of the most important form validation annotations which are supported by Spring MVC framework in the next tutorial we're going to learn how to write your own custom validation annotation in your Spring MVC application. Guys, a big thank you for liking all of my tutorials on Spring MVC series. If you have any question or feedback, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gone2Series, and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial.